Hey everyone, it's Jason and this is your weekend cruise news update and we have a passenger's cruise ruined by bed bugs. Do you think this policy by Carnival is barbaric? And when you cruise, how much money or cash do you bring on your cruise? So cruise story number one, do you think this policy by Carnival Cruise Line is barbaric? Now, a passenger wrote in to John Heald, the brand ambassador for Carnival Cruise Line, and they were highly upset about their vaping policy, calling it barbaric. Now, their policy is, is even if you're vaping, you still have to go to a smoking area. They look at it as you were smoking a cigarette, a cigar, or a pipe. It makes no difference. And that's what John Heald responded back, said, hey, I'm so sorry you feel that way. But if you are caught doing this, vaping in an area that's outside of a smoking area, you'll receive the same fine. Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's a barbaric policy? Now, I know a lot of people say they use vaping to stop smoking. And I know smoking has to be a very difficult thing to kick. My father smoked for 55 years. He started when he was like 10 years old smoking. And he kicked it, but he did a cold turkey. Now, would love to know your thoughts on this one. Do you think this is a barbaric policy by a Carnival Cruise Line? So cruise story number two, do you check for bed bugs on your cruise? So a passenger said they were on Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas out of California, and it was a three-day cruise. There was three of them in the cabin, and all of them suffered from bed bug bites on their cruise. And Royal Caribbean offered them a $500 credit, and 30% off a future cruise. So my question is, is do you think this is a fair offer? And that's what they were asking. Now, they said they've never experienced anything like this before, almost 100 days at sea with Royal Caribbean, so that would put them in the diamond level status. Do you think that's a fair offer? And do you check for bed bugs? Now, obviously you can see my background's different. We are in a hotel, and when we got to this hotel, I absolutely pulled the bed back, checked there, checked a few other places for bed bugs. And I did a video on this of seven things you should do as soon as you get to your cruise cabin. And I'll make sure to link it in the description. And one of them is checking for bed bugs and how to check for them. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Do you think this is a fair offer? And do you check for bed bugs? So before I get to cruise story number three, I would ask that you please like this video as it does help the channel grow. Also, consider subscribing as we're less than 2,500 subscribers away from that 100,000 goal by the end of August when we go on our Alaskan cruise. If you could help me out with that, I would greatly appreciate it. So cruise story number three, and I want to hear from you guys. How much cash do you bring on your cruise? And let's say, for example, for a seven-day cruise. And do you go to the casino or not? Because I see a lot of people that say, hey, I go to the casino, but I bring $1,500 with me in cash. Would love to hear from you. Now, from us, we like to bring around $300. I've already prepaid for everything. And I like to be able to tip for some excursions and give some extra tips to crew members that I think are deserving. Can't wait to hear from you in the comments. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for this continued support. It really means so much to me. And until I talk to you this week, happy cruising.